Hello and a very warm, warm welcome to Hitchin Boys School. Uh, this is our virtual and live streamed open evening event and I'd like to welcome you all even though you can't be here in person with us this evening. So the purpose of tonight is to convince you as students and your parents uh, that choosing Hitchin Boys School is the best decision that you can make uh, when you're thinking about secondary schools and your next step. And although we can't see you in person this evening, we do have the opportunity uh, for you to ask questions via text message and these will be answered by our year eight students at the end of this evening's presentation. So the number to text uh, will be placed upon the screen at various points during the presentation. I would encourage you to text in any questions that you might have as you're watching. Okay, so just at Hitchin Boys School, I want to try to uh, sum up what we're about uh, in terms of two words, learning and life. So we're passionate about these two things. Uh, and if you join us at Hitchin Boys School, you'll receive first and foremost an outstanding academic education. Uh, we have an incredible group of teachers who are passionate uh, about the subjects and they're experts in their field. They'll make learning challenging, interesting and foremost fun. Uh, we have a wide range of subjects and many of which uh, you may not have experienced when you were at primary school. We also have a long history of excellent exam results, uh, meaning that you're equipped to move on to university, college, apprenticeship or work after you leave us uh, in either the end of year 11 or the end of year 13. And though that may seem far away at the moment, it's an important consideration that you think about when you're choosing your secondary school. And you'll also have support from your excellent team of tutors, careers advisors and other staff to help you decide uh, what your next career step might be. Uh, the other aspect of school that we're committed to uh, is wider life. Uh, we have a range of incredible opportunities in extracurricular, uh, sports, the arts, clubs and other creative and fun activities. Once the coronavirus crisis is over, we will offer a huge range of trips both within the UK and abroad and with opportunities to take part in challenges uh, to develop your character from the Duke of Edinburgh award scheme uh, to the World Challenge and more on these opportunities later. We also have an excellent team of pastoral carers and support staff who will help you as you progress through school. We have very high standards and expectations of behaviour and we are a safe school that takes pride in togetherness and engagement with the community. By the time you leave Hitchin Boys we want you to be the best educated young man that you can be and to be confident and with strong character to face whatever the adult world will challenge you with. So as you probably know Hitchin Boys School has got a long and distinguished and proud history. Uh, it's incredible to think that this school was founded not long after the Pilgrim Fathers uh, sailed on the Mayflower to America and well over 100 years before Captain Cook landed in Australia. So John Mattock founded the school in 1639 in Talhouse Street and the current uh, main school in Grammar School Walk dates from 1889. And although there are beautiful and historic parts of the school, uh, we've invested in some stunning new facilities uh, in buildings that have opened in the last few years as the school has expanded. And we're in one of those now, the auditorium in the new pavilion building. Uh, as part of our tradition, we also work closely with uh, Hitchin Girls School and the Priory School in a very successful sixth form consortium uh, where you may have the opportunity to have lessons across the three schools. So in summary, we are proud of our history and our tradition, but we're not afraid to embrace the modern and to continue to improve. So our motto, uh, per arduo ad alta, is translated as striving for excellence. This sums up everything that we do and that we have done for hundreds of years. We want you to enjoy school and to try many new things. We want you to try hard in your academic subjects and realise that it is through your efforts that you will achieve success. We'll give you a safe place to take risks, uh, perhaps fail now and again, uh, but we will pick you up and we will support you. We want you to fulfil your potential and to be the best young man that you can be. As I mentioned earlier, our exam results are consistently strong uh, with our most recent published exam results in 2019, placing us amongst the top non-selective state schools in the country. Our Progress 8 score of plus 0.41 means that you would achieve nearly half a grade more at Hitchin Boys School than if you went to the average school in England. This puts us in the top 10% of non-selective state schools. And usually over 80% of our students uh, choose to continue with us after year 11 and enter our very successful and growing sixth form. Similarly, we have great success at A-level uh, with our value-added score placing us in the top 20% of non-selected state schools in England. The 2020 exam season was obviously disrupted due to the coronavirus, uh, but the grades awarded by a combination of teacher assessment and calculated grades by the exam boards were our record results and a further improvement on 2019. 
Um, parents may have a view on which schools locally have got the best results, um, and some of this is based on a feeling or rumour rather than fact. And I would encourage uh, parents to have a look at the Compare Schools Performance website that is operated by the government, as this contains the facts, and we stand by our record on this site as one of the leading schools in North Hertfordshire. So a little bit more detail about life at Hitchin Boys School. So I mentioned earlier the opportunities that you'll have uh, available uh, to you when you join Hitchin Boys uh, beyond just the academic. We have a huge range of lunchtime and after school clubs that you can join. There's something different for every day from sports clubs to science, technology, music and art, from chess and scrabble to book club in our fantastic library. There are things specific to year seven such as activities day and the trip to Willen Lake that Mr Dawson will say more about later. As you go through school, we've got a huge range of things to get involved in, from BBC School Reports uh, to Adventures in the Duke of Edinburgh Award and travel around the world in the World Challenge. We're incredibly proud of our PE department and the facilities that we have at HBS for sport. Uh, the school has ample pitches, an astroturf pitch, tennis centre, uh, floodlit hard courts and a state-of-the-art sports centre that benefits both you and the community. Uh, we compete at the highest levels locally, nationally and even internationally in our main sports of rugby, hockey, cricket and athletics. And sport at HBS is inclusive and this is a crucial point that we allow the talented to develop and receive the highest level of coaching but we also encourage those that just want to participate and to develop their skills. We've had over 500 students typically represent the school over the last number of years, uh, each year and our aim is to grow this even further. Uh, finally, our offering of uh, trips is exciting and a distinctive feature of Hitchin Boys School. There are a vast range of possible events from field trips uh, to Dorset and to Normandy battlefields, uh, through to art galleries, uh, music tours and language exchanges, and then optional trips such as the annual ski trip and uh, to places such as China, Malaysia and Iceland. Although our plans for this year are temporary on hold uh, due to coronavirus restrictions, we hope to have our full programme back in place for 2021 when you may join us. We're equally proud of our offer in the arts, the music, drama and visual arts are a vibrant and essential part of uh, school life. We have a huge range of opportunities to be creative, from over 17 different music ensembles to uh, three choirs, uh, orchestras, uh, exhibitions of art, photography and our uh, centrepiece in the annual Arts Week. And a highlight of the H HBS calendar is our school production in our brand new auditorium here. Uh, that's equipped with professional sound and lighting facilities. And this is a production that is always ambitious and is of the calibre of West End, West End performances and sometimes uh, involving over 200 performers. Another aspect of school life at Hitchin is uh, competition. Uh, we encourage healthy competition as part of life at Hitchin Boys. You'll be assigned one of four houses that are named after our founder, John Mattock, and other early benefactors. And yes, the Harry Potter sorting hat helped to reveal uh, the house to the year sevens this year. Uh, everything that you can do at school uh, can be recognised by merit points, and that's all part of the annual house competition. Uh, we also have a regular series of inter-house events and house competitions from uh, maths to photography, music to science, and of course, inter-house sports competitions. Feature of school life that Hitchin boys uh, very much enjoy is representing the school and competing against other schools locally and nationally. And we have a very active programme of fixtures during the week and on Saturdays and always do very well in district, county and national competitions. An example of competition at the very highest level that I know the sixth form students will refer to later on is when we uh, represented England in the World Schools Ath Athletics Championships in Split in Croatia in 2019. And from all the countries in the world that were represented, uh, we placed uh, 13th in the world, which is an incredible performance from a school in a humble market town in Hertfordshire. Another aspect of school life at Hitchin Boys School that I'm very proud of is our offer around clubs. Uh, we have a vast range of clubs that uh, may interest you at Hitchin Boys School, and we strongly encourage you to try out something new. From music and art to sport and science, we have a range of things on offer, and these are updated termly. We hope that you do more than just come to lessons, uh, that, that you join a club or play for a team, uh, because these are one of the best ways that you can make new friends. Uh, we also have something we call the High Performance Group uh, that makes the most of the talents and passions that you already have. And this provides additional support and coaching and challenges in both sporting and academic subjects. At HM Boys, we're very proud to be part of our wider community. Uh, we never forget at Hitchin Boys that we are fortunate uh, to have an excellent education and care provided for us by the state and it's something that many children in the world do not have access to. Uh, we have fundraising events every year for local and national charities and we participate in sport or comic relief each year. 
Our students are particularly issued, uh, in interested in issues in society such as diversity and equality and also how we can better look after the environment. Uh, we've got a programme of education that is new for this year called Learning for Life and covers themes such as healthy living, mental health and also we link our school assemblies and tutor time to global community events such as Remembrance uh, Day, Black History Month, uh, the Holocaust and other religious and cultural festivals. Each year we join with the Hitchin Girls School to celebrate Founders Day which is a major event in the Hitchin calendar and followed by a swimming gala that's always very popular. So to round out my speech, uh, why should you choose Hitchin Boys School? So I'll answer five questions that I think you may think are important. The first question that I think is, will I make friends? Absolutely, you will make lifelong friends here. As well as the other 26 or so students in your form group, you will have over 200 in your year group, and we'll have students from over uh, 30 or 40 different primary schools, meaning that everyone ends up uh, mixing and making new friends when you join. The best way to make new friends is to join one of our clubs or teams. Second question is, will I be happy? Um, we want you to be happy at school. Uh, we want to provide you with all the opportunities and support that you need and encourage you to put the effort in to become the best version of you that you can be. And we try to balance learning and life at all times. Um, will I be safe is the next question. And Hitchin Boys is a safe school and behaviour is very good. On the occasion it is not, we have solid systems in place to deal with misbehaviour and if bullying happens you can feel safe to tell an adult and that it will be dealt with effectively. Will I be successful? Uh, we want you to be successful and we recognise there are many different routes to success and we try to provide you with a variety of different pathways to follow, particularly as you go through school and have some choice over your GCSEs and a free choice over your sixth form subjects. And then why Hitchin Boys School? Well we want you to place us number one in your choices. Uh, we believe that we are the best possible school for boys in the local area. Uh, we offer opportunity, challenge, excellence, community, competition and fun in a caring environment. Okay, I'd now like to hand over to our senior prefect team to say a few words about their experiences of life at Hitchin Boys. Uh, so our head boy, Connor Rothman, will start off and then we'll be followed by deputy head boys, uh, Gurmik Takar and Tom Russell. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Moan. Uh, good evening, everybody, and a warm welcome to you all. I am Connor Rathbone, and I'm proud to be the head boy here at Hitchin Boys School. I remember being where you are now with my parents. I was intimidated by that move to big school and not really knowing what to expect. For all of you watching tonight, I know this move may seem very daunting, but seven years on, I can truly say that coming to this school was one of the best decisions I've made in my life so far. Hitchin Boys School is a great opportunity to better yourself, not only as a student, but also as a person. It has given me incredible experiences. I'm not saying that I wouldn't have had good schooling if I had gone elsewhere, but I certainly wouldn't have had the same wealth of opportunities as offered here. I've been on trips around the UK, France, China and Malaysia, and on all of these trips, the chance to get ever closer to an ever wider range of people, making great friends, some of whom I know will remain so for life. One of my personal highlights includes completing my paddy diving certification in the Perinthian Islands in Southeast Asia last summer. I knew coming here would bring many challenges, but I stayed optimistic and kept a positive mindset. Throughout my experience of school, I have found what I want to do in life and realised my full potential, which is to go to university to study medicine. Like Tom and Gurmuk, who will appear shortly, I've loved the huge range of activities and clubs on offer. Throughout my time here, I've participated in many of the school's extracurricular activities and represented numerous sports teams. During your time here, you'll be given so many fantastic opportunities to get involved with the life of the school. And I would strongly urge you to seize these opportunities in order to flourish, but most importantly, to have fun. Of my experiences in the classroom, I can speak with similar enthusiasm. Right from year seven, I've loved every minute of every lesson. Why? because staff are motivated, they're eager for student progression, and they all have that infectious passion for their subjects, which I think is so essential. Hitchin Boys School has a great community feel to its culture. It provides the support you need to develop hard work, determination, and resilience. Hitchin Boys School helps students academically, but most importantly, it creates well-rounded, articulate, and ambitious young people. 
I hope that the students of tomorrow will go on to feel as proud of their school as I do today. I am no longer that little boy with my parents, but instead a truly content young man. That's the real power of a great education, like the one offered here at Hitchin Boys. It changes people for the better. Finally, I hope that you are inspired today. The school has a strong history of tradition, which today continues as the pillar for our success. I want to leave you with the school's motto of Per Ardua Adulta, which translates as striving for excellence, which this school actively promotes for everyone equally. Thank you for listening, and I hope you have a pleasant evening. I'll now hand over to Gurmuk. Cheers. Thank you, Connor. Hi, everyone. My name is Gurmuk Singh Thakur, and I am one of the deputy head boys this year. Our school is outstanding. It is not just the sports clubs in which we excel, but HBS is consistently high performing when it comes to exam results, both at A-level and GCSE. These results place us in the top 10% of schools across the country. The school offers a wide range of subjects to help your son to achieve his potential, from drama and music to technology and maths. All our excellent teachers always challenge the boys to get the best out of them. Our high performance group not only runs with a physical education program, but there are also academic high performers. This again encourages the boys to be the best they can. In this way, the school helps to support the boys in every area to, to achieve their maximum potential. I remember being part of the French high performance group. We went to a primary school to teach a lesson. This is another example of the opportunities that the school has to offer, helping to build confidence along the way. At Key Stage 4, the boys have an opportunity to study a broad range of subjects to a greater depth, ready for their GCSEs. Students can begin to shape their education so it more closely reflects their individual interests and abilities. Making decisions is an important part of students taking responsibility for their own learning and indeed their futures, and the teachers greatly aid this process, offering their support wherever needed. At Sixth Form, we are part of the consortium of Hitchin Schools. By working closely together as a consortium, we are able to continue to expand our offer of a wide range of A-level, Level 3 BTEC and Level 3 technical qualifications. The excellent results we get reflect the great interest in our sixth form, aided by the exceptional facilities on offer, including the new sixth form block. We welcomed back 140 boys this year to Year 12 and had, and had a further 16 join from different schools. This reflects the excellent reputation of our school. Our school has a great community and we are a family here. Looking back over the last seven years, I'm proud to say that I've been a part of this diverse community and that my parents definitely made the correct choice for me. I hope that many of you decide that HBS is the place for your son to develop and excel. Thank you for listening, and I'd like to hand over to Tom. Thank you, Gurmuk. My name is Tom, and I'm also one of the deputy head boys here. Sport and extracurricular activities are a huge part of life at Hitchin Boys School. The breadth of opportunity and great range of activities is what makes our school so unique. From rugby and athletics to music, house events, Duke of Edinburgh and clubs like Chess and Scrabble, there really is something for everyone. We compete and play against state and private schools from all over the country in many, many different sports which sets us, sets us apart from other local schools. We have several different teams for each sport which cater for all different abilities and everyone is included. It isn't always the best sportsmen who play for these teams, it's the ones who work hard and have the best attitude. Back in 2017, Hitchin Boys became national athletics champions and represented England at the World Athletics Championships in Croatia two years after. This is just one of our many sporting achievements, which highlights the talent we have at our school and the hard work and dedication of our P department. Music and drama are also big at Hitchin Boys, and there's a real variety of groups and activities to get involved in. I play trumpet in the school jazz band, which is just one of the many different music, drama and choir groups which perform at concerts throughout the year to showcase the hard work that students put in. With artists like James Bay starting out their career in our music department, there's no better place to be if performing arts are your thing. During my time at Hitchin Boys, getting involved with the life of the school has been the best aspect of my secondary school experience. I've loved the fun and camaraderie of representing the school since year seven in several different sports and having the chance to develop my own sporting skills. I've also enjoyed the academic side of sport, 
having studied PE at GCC and now at A Level 2. Being part of the Hitchin Boys communi community is truly something to be proud of. I really encourage your son to come to this school and experience such a great range of opportunities available here. Thank you. I'll now pass over to Mr Dawson, who is the Assistant Head and Pastoral Leader for Year 7 and 8. Hello, good evening, and thank you to our senior prefects for kindly helping us so willingly tonight. However, my only feedback is that you need to learn from our year eights, who we'll hear from in a moment, as they negotiated a Domino's pizza from me for giving up their time. Never too young to learn from the next generation, eh, boys? Talking to year eights, please don't forget to send any questions to them by texting the number on screen. The Year 8s will be supported by another of our Year 13s, Lucas, who will be doing his best impression of David Dimbleby on Question Time. For all the teachers here at Hitchin Boys, it is always great to hear from the sixth formers and see how they have grown from the excited, slightly apprehensive Year 7s that arrived on their first day just over six years ago to the confident young adults in front of you tonight. For Connor, Tom and Germick and every other Hitchin Boy, the journey began with open evening events like this, as it does for you and your son tonight. We are now going to show a day in the life of Hitchin Boys School, a video uh, that tells you what a life was like in a typical day at Hitchin Boys, and then we're going to talk a bit more about transition before handing over to the year eights. We know that video, which was put together last week, can't replace the face-to-face -face walk-arounds that usually happen, but hopefully that gives you a flavour of the school. Shortly, I will outline what transition looks like at Hitchin Boys, but I know many prospective parents will be watching tonight. And for those parents, 
I'd like to reassure you that our aim for your son, from pri moving from primary to secondary school, is to provide a smooth transition from your son's current school to us here at Hitchin Boys. We know that transition can be an anxious time for your son, but we also know that it is an anxious time for you, the parents. The move to secondary school is a significant moment in both yours and your son's life. For example, they'll suddenly start asking you questions about subjects other than English and maths. Before you know it, they'll be asking for help with graphics, resistant materials, French, Spanish, chemistry, and even physics. And this is just one example of the challenges parents have to go through when their son starts at any secondary school. Although some boys won't say so, they will also have questions of their own. So how do we navigate all, all of that here at Hitchin Boys to turn out confident, well-rounded students like Connor, Tom and Gurman? Firstly, we have a core set of values that we can constantly revisit throughout years seven and eight that will support them in their later years. The first of these is teamwork. We want boys to learn to work in a team, whether that is their form group, their house, um, be it in sport or when revising with each other. Because this is so important, we give each of our eight form groups a letter that make up the word teamwork. The second is resilience. Secondary school is essentially that important bridge from childhood through teenage years and into adulthood. It is such an important time with so many challenges ahead. One way in which we do this is through teaching the students to have a growth mindset of solution finding rather than a fixed mindset where a problem becomes a barrier. The final core value is tolerance. We know that every student is different and their needs are different. It is expected that students will respect each other, support each other, and show that level of tolerance that we expect. It would be wrong for any secondary school to claim that their students are perfect all of the time, but on those rare occasions when our young people do get it wrong, we have a zero tolerance policy and expect students to be accountable for their own actions. We are proud of just how rare it is for students at Hitchin Boys to be intolerant of each other. Although we know just how exceptionally and exceptional, diverse and talented our students are, we also know it begins with a strong transition programme that is centred on building teamwork, resilience and tolerance within their form group first and foremost. We have a range of activities to help make this happen, including the following. Additional transition visits for our vulnerable students before they start. We always ask primary schools to let us know of any students who would benefit from visiting us before the main transition day for a one-to-one -one face meeting with either our special educational needs department or pastoral team. We even managed to do this for around 30 boys in July this year, despite the lockdown measures, but we did so safely once they'd been eased. We have a dedicated pastoral support worker for years seven or eight who is not a teacher, but a friendly, supportive adult in the school who boys can go to for that pastoral support. We take a form photo on their first day to help them to begin to gel as a form. Our aim is to take another photo on their last day in year 11 together to mark the end of that journey. We have weekly form activities, including conversation icebreakers to help the boys make friends. It can be so challenging when you're presented with so many different students around you to know what to say and what their answers might be and how to navigate all that. We want to help. We have an activity day in the first half term where each form gets to try different activities such as a climbing wall, laser tag, air a ball, and archery, and they do it as a group, a form group together. There are awards for the best form in terms of teamwork, resilience, and tolerance. We introduce them to all the many clubs 
that has already been talked about by Mr Moan and our sixth form students. We even have a Year 7 House Bake Off as their, you know, as their first house event to earn points for their house. We have our own Year 7 and 8 League of Extraordinary Gentlemen which takes our award system and turns it into a fun interform competition based on academic uh, performance in lessons and the achievement points they get. We also use it to highlight those students that have been resilient with head of year awards uh, and the like. To mark the end of their first term at Hitchin Boys, we usually host a year seven Christmas disco with the uh, girls' school. That's always a fun highlight. It's a nice way for the boys that have come here to reconnect with some of the students they went to primary school with. And finally, at the end of their first year, the whole year group go on a day's trip to Widden, Widden Lakes near Milton Keynes to spend the day as a form trying all the different water-based activities that are on offer. Hopefully, this is a useful flavour of what transition looks like at Hitchin Boys School. For some additional videos and information, you can visit our YouTube uh, account, which you're obviously already on, and there's a folder on transition in there with lots of information and pre-recorded videos that we used this summer for our current Year 7s. They're available to watch all year. If you have any questions about transition, please do not hesitate to contact us either by phone or email. Talking of questions, it is time for me to hand over to Lucas and our team of Year 8s who have been collecting all your questions that have come in on the school mobile uh, that have been texted in tonight. Lucas has been working hard to collate the questions into categories and he's now ready to start dishing them out to our four brave Year 8s. Over to you, Lucas. Good evening. So we've had a few questions tonight about what trips we offer at Hitchin Boys School. So I'm just going to invite Jamie up to the podium to answer that for us. At Hitchin Boys School, there are many opportunities to go on to different trips to places all over the world. Uh, my favourite trip so far has been the Year 7 trip to the Science Museum. Um, sadly, however, this year's trips have been cancelled until further notice. Um, I am looking forward to, however, the Year 9 rugby trip to Los Angeles in 2022, which I hope will still go ahead. Thank, Thank you, you Jamie. Tonight we've also had a number of questions around what lessons at Hitchin Boys School are like. So I'm going to invite up Kushad to answer this question for us. Kushad? Well, um, lessons are really fun and um, they're very educational. And I do enjoy them very much. And the teachers make it fun for every single student to participate and um, be the, be the best uh, that they can be and so that they can excel. And um, there are many uh, different subjects that um, are given um, in Year 7 that aren't given in earlier schools, such as um, computer science, food tech and drama, um, etc. Thank you. We have had a couple of messages tonight uh, concerned about bullying at Hitchin Boys School. So I'm going to invite up George to address this topic for us. George, if you just come up, please. Well, um, I'd love to be able to say that bullying doesn't happen at Hitchin Boys School, but that would be a lie because it does happen in every school, in every town, in every country around the world. Uh, we do, however, take it very, very seriously and is not, it's not tolerated. We have a uh, pastoral support team that will be on hand for any uh, queries or questions you have regarding bullying. Uh, we are educated in form time and in assemblies on how to avoid bullying and how to get help if it were to happen to us. Thank you, George. We've also had a few queries tonight about what sports uh, are taught and played at Hitchin Boys School. And so I'm going to invite up Noah to tell us a bit about that. Noah? Thank you. PE is one of the subjects that are very important at Hitchin Boys, especially because we are striving for excellence. Football can be played at break or lunchtime. Um, the teachers are really nice and will help you and push you to the best of your ability in physical education. Thank you, Noah. 
We have had some questions messaged in tonight about uh, how students find their way around our school and what happens if they get lost. So um, Noah's going to tell us about that one. Um, if you don't get lost, don't worry. You can always ask a student teacher to tell you where your classroom is. And also, we at the beginning of the year, you were given a map to show you around the school. And if you're still not sure where to go, you can always ask student teachers as well to help you out a bit. Thanks, Noah. We have had some questions tonight about um, whether our teachers are nice or strict. So um, Kashad is going to tell us a little bit about that. Now, teachers are very friendly and very nice, and they will definitely help you. And they manage behaviour very well. And they will push you to be your best that you can be and so you, that you can excel in every single topic that you do. Thank you. Every year we do get asked questions about what Hitchin Boys School has to offer if a sport's not really your thing. So George is going to come up for me today to tell you a bit about that. While sport may seem to be the main focus at this school, um, there are so many other opportunities that you can take, uh, such as the, uh, the range of music clubs. Uh, there's a debate club, there's a science club, maths club, even film club, if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, you can do drama. Uh, there is, there's always something that you can be doing that isn't sport. Thank you. We do get, we have had a few questions about um, homework at Hitchin Boys School, how much is given, how it's managed and what it relates to. So I'm going to invite up Noah to answer that question for us. Uh, for homework um, in year seven, you tend to get at least one to three pieces a day. But don't worry, because if um, you need to like do stuff later, you can do it, I would advise you to do it straight away so you don't have to worry about it later if you have any clubs outside of school or in school. Thank you, Noah. We've had a number of messages about the, the thing that makes um, our, stu our students most happy to be Hitchin boys. So I'm going to invite a picture of the boys in turn to tell us a bit about that. Uh, Jamie, do you want to come up, please? Uh, I'd say one of the best things about being a Hitchin boy is um, all the opportunities you're uh, given in each of the subjects. But um, not just educationally, but also socially, because you're, you meet tons of new people at Hitchin Boys. Um, so different people from across Hertfordshire and even the um, country itself. But tons of people who you would probably have never met before or even spoken to, would, you would have met and you would have met during clubs or lessons. So I find uh, the social side of Hitchin Boys to be one of the best things. Thank you. Good shot. Um, personally, um, I think that uh, the best part of being a Hitchin Boys School student is that um, I'm part of a team and um, I'll do almost everything with that team and I'll get to know them uh, much better, say I didn't know them, um, and I'll do it with the friends that I already know or have sort of spoken to um, before. And it's so much fun being with people that um, uh, are friends of mine or friends of um my friends and you just get to meet completely new people that you never knew and that can be your friends. Thank you, Kishad. Noah? One of the best things I think of being a Hitchin boy is the sporting opportunities because you can, always, you can form as a team and make lots of friends whilst trying to win games against other schools. Thank you. And George? I think uh, the best part of being a Hitchin boy, aside from the sheer amount of opportunities that you're given that you wouldn't be given in primary school, is the, the freedom to, at play time and lunchtime to go around and do whatever you want to do. There's always so many clubs that you can go and get involved in that really benefit. That's great. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. I'm now going to hand back to our head teacher, Mr Moan. OK, thank you, boys. Do you want to leave the stage? Wasn't that fantastic? Uh, I think you know the 
best part of the night is the bit that hasn't been scripted and it's been driven by you and your questions. Uh, I'm sorry that we couldn't answer every single question that came in. We were deluged with, uh, with text, but we will try and put together a FAQ and get it out and put it on this transition page to cover any questions that we weren't able to cover with the year eights tonight. But if you have any burning questions, please do contact the school via email or phone uh, and you know, any of the team will be happy to talk to you through any concerns you might have. Okay, so that is just about it for this evening, but I wanted to draw your attention towards a few other resources and a few other sources of information that we have uh, on our website. Uh, so the first is, uh, in lieu of being able to visit uh, the faculties and the subjects and the facilities that we, they've got, um, each uh, subject has made a short video, a two or three minute video, that answers some of the key questions that uh, a year seven might have as they join Hitchin Boys, and also to give you a little flavour as to what the subject might be like as students move up through the school and what opportunities there might be at a GCSE and A-level. So I strongly encourage you to watch those and they are on our YouTube channel and organised into a playlist uh, to do with subjects. Um, we also have the departmental information booklet that is linked from our main school website as well. And again, there's much more detailed information there about the content of subjects, what our curriculum looks like and what the academic offer is, uh, including important topics such as the library, careers uh, and SEN for instance. Um, the other uh, information that I'd like you to have a look at is uh, on our transition page we have, uh, as Ms Dawson referred to earlier, a number of resources to help with transition, but one of which is the virtual tour. And again, I know it's no substitute for actually being here, but hopefully you understand, but it is an excellent tour where uh, over about uh, 40 minutes uh, Mr Dawson visits every, almost every room in the school uh, and it's a really good insight into what life might be like uh, at Hitchin Boys. So I'd like to thank everybody that uh, helped to put this uh, together this evening. So our team internally, uh, our IT team, our AV team, uh, but most importantly, uh, the students that helped contribute to the evening because I thought they were excellent. And really, if you're looking for anything that uh, suggests why you should uh, put Hitchin Boys down as your number one choice, um, it is the students that you've seen this evening from year eight through to year 13. They're an excellent testament to the education that we offer and the two themes that I talked about earlier, learning and life. Thank you very much and good evening.